it was given a name Walcha, Judanja Palyal Bay, meaning bringing families together. Walcha Judanja Palyal Bay is an Aboriginal women's organisation and its purpose has always been to support families on remote communities to be able to access services, um, find employment and try and take leadership in their own communities. Women are like strong with their culture and knowledge, with the language and um, with ceremonies as well and teaching the young ones, leading the way. The women who founded Walcha in the very beginning had a very clear aim that they wanted to have a resource centre that would service remote communities and help start really positive initiatives. And they wanted some way for women to be able to speak together but with one voice about what's happening, the conditions in Central Australia. We work right across from the Queensland border to the Western Australian border um, and in the area that's called Central Australia. So, oh, it's 13,000 square kilometres, I think. Hi, my name is Sonia Dare and I work for Walcher and I work as a social media worker and I also do money management. So the furthest distance that we drive is out to Kintor, that's about 536 kilometres. We have an executive director who lives out there, that's Irene Nungler, and we also have other Walcher members out there. And we drive out there to bring them into town for AGMs and also for uh, Walcher directors meetings. So we have nine troopies, they're all vibrant colours. Uh, they represent different programs that we run at Walcher and every time we rock up into a community in a different coloured troopie, everyone rushes to the troopies because they know what program's on because we use the same troopies for each program. It's able to deliver its services to the communities over several days. So it's not a fly in, fly out operation. And the types of services that they deliver on the ground are aged care, childcare and I think one of their uh, more recent ones is the Reconnect program, trying to get disengaged youth back to school. Um, and the other strength that Walcher has is developing the young women in the community to be future directors and leaders in that community. We've got a lot of different programs but they really are all focused on Aboriginal families um, being able to manage their own lives and hold together strongly. It's just one of those communities that people feel comfortable with uh, coming to and saying, look, I need help, whether it's to get back to community, uh, whether it's to help with accommodation while they're in town. So they're able to support lots of um, people from the different communities. What it means for Walcher to be a finalist is a recognition that this is an organisation that has never been funded to exist. Everything that we have has come out of doing competitive tendering for program areas. Sometimes we've started initiatives out of our own funding and funding's been picked up. So it's something that Aboriginal women who are seniors, elders in their communities have got together and they've made this happen. And from a staff point of view, people are so proud to be working for Walcher. Even people who've worked for us in the past, they wear that Walcher badge, I think, with great pride.